opinion people overthink a lot of different things in this world and meal prep is definitely one of those things i get so many questions on this how do you do it why do you do it when should you do it it doesn't matter all you gotta do is pick up foods you like throw them in a crock pot and you're done and then the cool part about this watch this If you don't eat it all within a week, you can freeze it. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is not like gourmet, you know? It's not gonna be the best tasting thing that you ever have, but what's important to me is just convenience. So I'll make something that I can make in a big batch and I can make for maybe two to three weeks and it's usually worked out pretty well. As weird as it sounds, a burger with egg and pineapple is so good. And I really love these little pita things because you can stuff them full of whatever you want. Now, most people would probably stick to more uh, traditional choices, but you guys know, I like to get a little bit creative, especially since, you know, my food options are a little bit limited right now. I miss, you know, coming home to dinner and having like 500 grams of potatoes or something. And now it's like my carbs are usually like fruit, vegetables, and maybe like a pita or some bread. The struggle, man, the struggle. Guys, I am so tired. It is 8 o'clock right now, and I could probably go straight to bed. But that is not going to happen. But I went to the gym this morning, and uh, I want to be honest and tell you that it was probably one of the worst workouts that I've ever had, and that is all my fault. I have been choosing life over gains, and I know that's a sin to some of you guys, but I can't really blame anyone or anything other than myself. You know, these are the decisions that I made. So the fact that 385 pounds felt like 410, 420 pounds, that's on me, you know? And I, like I said, I try to preach that uh, it's really doing whatever makes you happy. So when I was out of town, doing what made me happy had really nothing to do with my powerlifting progression or my progress in the gym. And that's just a personal decision. So don't get down on yourself if things like that happen. And I remember when I was running Garrett Blevins' program, I did not miss one single workout. I did not change anything. I stayed on it and everything pretty much went flawlessly. And you saw that my performance kind of followed suit. I did extremely well. I made more strength gains than I had ever done before in my entire life. And some of that was due to just the consistency. I mean, just as much, just as little as a day or two off of your program can really throw you off. And that's kind of what happened to me. But it's no big deal. You know, that is just some one of the things you got to work around. And guess what? We're all humans. We don't live in a vacuum we don't live in a fitness bubble more than likely and it's all good so that's my quick message for the day as you can see here we got a new flavor chocolate cupcake now this sounds good is it actually gonna be good I don't know we'll test it out tonight Same forever though. You guys ready? Is the anticipation killing you? I bet it is for some of the girls that watch. I don't know why, but I feel like a cupcake is like a girl food. Women love cupcakes, and I get it. I mean, cupcakes are good. I have like a funny big backstory with cupcakes, but I'm not gonna get into it. But uh, we're gonna try this for the first time ever. And I've been finessing no. I take the one one back to the exit, bro. Trust me, girl, you gotta let it go. Smoke out the window. To that is good. That is very good. Better than the chocolate. I believe they're replacing the chocolate with the cupcake. One more sip. Sun is falling. She pull up on me. She see me balling. Louis the wallet, the jacket Tommy. Now pray to God that they come. Yeah. Now maybe you don't believe me. Maybe you want to try it out for yourself. And if you do, you know what you can use? And you will save yourself 30%. Now in all seriousness, all seriousness, guys, I know that I'm biased but I really do like this stuff. I think it's gonna be one of the best sellers. I pray to God that they come for me. I pray to God that they check up on me. I pray to God that the summer mine. I pray we make it through summertime. Just got me moving in double time. So this morning I woke up at 182 pounds. That is pretty light for me. So let me know if you guys want me to go over updated macros and all that. I'm getting a little bit more aggressive, but that would probably call for another video. Anyway, 
Today's deadlifts felt so much better than the squats that you guys saw earlier in the video. And I almost did not include that clip only because I didn't want you guys to think that I was complaining about it. It was more of me taking responsibility for my actions and the reason that that workout did not go well is because of the decisions that I made. And a lot of times what I try to do is bring in a lot of external resources for you guys because other people say things a lot better than I do. There's a lot better material out in the world than what I can provide you, in my opinion. So I want to let you guys listen to this. I thought it had a great integration into this video, and I'll come back with you in a few minutes. You know, so many people listening right now, you know, if you're complaining, like, look, if you're, if you're happy, and you've got student loans, and you've got mortgages, and, and you work two jobs, but you're happy, good. The problem is there's so many millions of people just sitting around complaining. Just to set the record straight, if you are listening and you're complaining, then you gotta audit yourself. You can't watch House of Cards. You can't play ball all day. Yeah. You can't like mm -hmm. go to ballet shows. Like you gotta work. Here's the thing, your grandpappy didn't have Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook. There are thousands of people right now making money, building social media followings and then slanging other products and they went from being like a pretty girl or a good looking guy to you know making a hundred thousand a year or being somebody who was funny in the office to now making clips on YouTube and making a million dollars a year. This is real. Mm -hmm. Like, like I'm, mad, I'm triple mad because complaining always sucked, but complaining really sucks now because again, our grandparents didn't have the options we have. We live in a 24-7 world. You can make money in your underpants when you get back home from your waitress job. Yeah. When you have no money, you got one thing, your time. And that's what I'm, I'm, I'm unwavering on this. I'm unwavering. If you're complaining, you got your time. Like there's a million ways to do it. You just gotta decide. You guys might be getting sick of me talking about Gary Vaynerchuk on this channel, but I've been reading a lot of his books. And you also might be getting tired of me talking about reading or listening to audiobooks, I should say. And the way that I do that is through Audible. And this is actually a sponsored video. Now, before you start clicking off and disliking the video, listen to me for a second, okay? I have been an Audible user for years now, and if you watch any of my previous videos, I would talk about this. I've reached out to them ever since I started this YouTube channel. But she was working with Audible.com, and I am extremely, extremely jealous about that. I've been writing them emails for months trying to get them to support the channel a little bit. And really what I mean by that is uh, not even pay me, just give me some free audio books. But they don't, they're in the bigger channels, which is fine. The one thing that I do not mind spending money on is my Audible membership. So when they reached out and asked if I want to work together, I'm like, absolutely. This is the one thing I'm confident that can provide value to everyone's lives. Now, every single day when I drive to and from work, I'm listening to an audio book. Gary V has definitely been my top selection lately. I just finished Ask Gary V. Now, if you're interested in like social media or just business in general, this is the book for you. He goes over count, I think it's 12 hours actually. So it's a really good deal. You get a lot of bang for your buck there. And it's just the amount of knowledge that he shares with everyone is, is out. I mean, I think Gary V is just one of the top people in the industry. Now, I love Audible because using their app, it doesn't require any data. So you can download the book and then you can stream it in your car and you won't run up your cell phone bill and it just makes it really convenient. And there's so many choices. I mean, you can choose from, you know, if it's me, I'm choosing business books or I do like autobiographies as well, but they have comedy, podcasts, all types of stuff on there. Really, there's so many selections you can never get through it all. And as you know, I'm a bit of a frugal person, but like I've said, the one thing I don't mind investing in is myself and I've been an audible member for years now I've been paying for it don't get any ideas and this thing has paid for itself time and time again because the knowledge that I've learned I've been able to implement in so many different areas of my life and it's kind of like you know you don't know what you don't know how else do you learn unless you're listening to people unless you're gathering information so I cannot recommend this enough especially if you're like me you have a busy schedule audiobooks are definitely the way to go so I'm so happy that I'm able to bring this to you guys if you want to go to audible.com slash backslash Travis then you'll get a free 30-day member now, I can almost guarantee you that you are not going to want to cancel that membership. I promise you guys, this is not just a paid promotion. If you've been watching the channel, you know how excited I can get about audiobooks. So, thank you, Audible, for the opportunity. Highly encourage you guys to check it out. Pull up in whips that they never see. Me and my people need everything. Should you work out when you're sore? In my opinion, if you're on a good program, yes. Now, if you're killing yourself every single day and you're going into the gym unrecovered, that's one thing. But if it's built into the program 
in my opinion, it's gonna be most beneficial, yes, if you do not skip any of those workouts. Now, yesterday I did those deadlifts and it destroyed me. I came into the gym this morning, I guess walked into my garage this morning, and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to even move this weight. But now, now granted, this is a light day, I'm only squatting 300 pounds, but it feels fantastic. And a lot of times, my best workouts are when I come in extremely sore. <laughs> I don't care how light the weight is, 12 reps of anything is never gonna be fun. What are you guys doing in there? You guys know I don't mind taking you around with me some places. Last weekend was a blast. I took you guys to Dallas, we went to the fitness expo. I had fun, hopefully you guys enjoyed the footage, but this weekend, this weekend is not going to be very um, fitspo. There's not going to be macros or the gym. It's going to be a little bit different. Let's put it like that. Now, I think when a lot of people get into fitness for the first time, they look at a lot of things and they will judge them whether they're healthy or not. And most of us know by now that healthy is very, very subjective. Some people would look at what I eat and be like, yeah, he eats pretty healthy. And some people would look at what I eat and be like, he is not healthy at all. So anything with that much subjectivity is not a good definition in my opinion. Now, I will give you my definition of healthy, and keep in mind, this can vary from person to person, but my definition is doing the things that make you happy in moderation. So if eating six meals a day, just chicken, rice, and broccoli, if that's what makes you happy, if that's what, genuine, if that's what you genuinely enjoy, then that's fine. In my opinion, that is healthy. But if it makes you miserable, there's nothing healthy about that. I don't look at healthy just in a diet sense. I look at it from an overall standpoint. So an overall healthy person, and that's mentally, physically, everything. So I don't want to go on too long of a tangent about this, but uh, I'll probably check in with you guys when I get home. And just remember, go out and do the things that you enjoy. You don't have to be caught up in a fitness bubble all the time. Now, obviously, it's a big part to, in most of our lives, which is perfectly fine, but get, don't forget to enjoy yourself as well. Oh, yeah. DJ. I can't believe, I can't believe, I can't believe, I can't believe what happened last night. I'm barely sober. I think I need a little bit of help. I can't believe, 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 I can't believ
That really helps me out a lot, and I look forward to talking to you guys next time.